Welcome to Steve Jackson Games Live. I'm Glory Hound, and this is Dr. Glory Hog. And today we are going to be playing Le Bomb. Le Boom. Le Boom. Le Boom. Le Bomb. Le Bomb. Like it's this tiny little dice game right here that comes in a little package that looks like a bomb. Makes sense. It's like something you fit right in your pocket. It's so awesome. We do have comments up today as well. So if you guys are interested in chatting with us. Go ahead and give us some comments, and we're here to answer any questions that you might have. Like, how big is that compared to the size? Like, it just holds, like, one, like, well, regular size die. I'm going to take it down to the table so you can go ahead and see how big this is and get an up-close look at what's actually inside this. It's like, you can hear it. It sounds, it sounds awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's get our focus in here. Okay. So, here's the actual little piece here, and it comes in a little package. And this is really awesome. All you have to do is you actually just like twist this here and you open it and there's a little die inside. Isn't that really cool? And this comes in four different colors. It's, I think it's seven, about $7. It's $6.95 on Warehouse 23. There's actually a link in the description. You have three sides that are a little bomb. You have two sides here that are a little flame, a little fuse, and you have one side that's that the boom. is the boom, and something different happens on each side here. But the actual dice is gorgeous in this pink set here. Hello, Dennis. How are you doing today? Hopefully, you're having an awesome Friday. Like it's time, it's time to order fast food in. I think people are still delivering. You know, make sure to tip your delivery drivers with that. But here's the little dice, and I know it comes in black. This is the pink version, and there's two other colors that it comes with. And I just want to show you guys, like, the little bomb itself, too, because there's, like, on the bottom here, do you see it? Oh, it's got the pyramid? It has the pyramid on the bottom, guys. <laughs> I was so excited to see that. It was, like, it blended in so well, and then I was showing it off on camera. I was, like, looking, and I was, like, oh, my gosh, is that the pyramid? It was, like, a sneaky pyramid with this. <laughs> but we're going to show you how to play today. It is going to be me versus... Dr. Glory Hog. So go ahead and put to, put in your bets right now on who's going to win. So if we roll the bomb, I'm going to roll first. Whatever I roll is what happens. If I roll the bomb, I put the bomb in front of me. If I already had the bomb, I would go ahead and take the bomb and give it to somebody else, okay? And this is for two plus players. So you can play with a whole bunch of people. And, oh, Dennis is looking for some online gaming tomorrow. What will nice. you be playing? We're going to be doing lots of stuff online. I'm excited. If you end up where you get the fuse, then what you have, if you get three fuses in a row, so the next person rolls a fuse, the next person rolls a fuse, then whoever the bomb is in front of blows up, and that person is eliminated from the game. So I actually have little meeple pieces here, which I'm going to use as fuse markers. So I remember, because I get super distracted on screen, because I get talking to people, you know. <laughs> Dennis, never bet against a woman with red hair. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to win this. <laughs> and then we have the little boom here. And whenever the boom comes up, whoever the bomb is in front of, they are immediately eliminated from the game. That's right. Now, can I run towards you once that bomb goes off? Can I, like, start, like jump towards you with no, it? No, no. This is not a everybody goes out sort of thing. It's yeah. just player elimination. I roll the die, and as it's, like, it's rolling, I see that it's going to be the bomb, and I just try to lean in for a quick hug. No. No? Okay. I don't want a bomb hug, period. No, All thank right. you. No, thank you. <laughs> you say that now. All right, and I have these little bowls up here because sometimes the bomb is so cylindrical that it does roll away on me if I'm just, like, throwing it around, okay? Well, don't toss so, a bomb around. Who throws <laughs> a bomb around? Well, apparently in this game, you toss the bomb around. Like a potato? It's like it's a little bit like hot potato, yeah. Okay. It's, it's very risky. You never want to be caught with the bomb, okay? Oh, we're starting out strong. Starting out strong. Did you get a fuse? Already got a fuse on the table. Although it starts in the middle, so if it blows up in the middle, that's it. You get the bomb in front of you. This fuse token goes away, or not fuse token, the tokens that I'm using for fuses goes away. So it gets reset on that. So three fuses in a row. Okay, so it does have to Then be it in would a row. blow up. Yeah. Oh! Dr. Glory, huh? I'm out already. <laughs> you're out. Boom, you're done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that game. That's it. That's it. You're off, you're off camera, Dr. Glory, huh? Oh. You want to try it again? Yeah. <laughs> 
whenever you roll. Why do I keep putting it in front of myself? Whenever you roll. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, no, the first one you were supposed to yeah. put in front of yourself. Yeah. Like, you just, you got to get good rolls. Okay, so that's a fuse. Oh, I just have to get that's good rolls. Fuse. Okay, okay. If you get a fuse, that would be lovely. Oh. Boom. How do you like that? I'm now? not happy with that. See, Dennis says, told you, told you. Dennis knew. <laughs> roll the die. Roll the die. He knew right away. <laughs> I think our fuse is gone though. Now it's now it's back. Now it's back. Go ahead. Boom. Boom. Come on. Come on, Dr. Glory Hog. So is it like whoever then wins best two out of three, the other person has to buy Chipotle? Let's do that. I mean, I want pizza. Okay, no, no, no. So best two out of three gets to pick what we order. Fine. And I'm going for pizza tonight. It's one guys. one right now. I'm going pizza. for Mexican. All right, I get to start first. How convenient. <laughs> it may or may not be really convenient for me. Okay, so nothing happens. It's in the middle. Go ahead, Dr. Glory Hog. Well, yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> boom, all the I'm going to have to ask you to stop rolling the boom, okay? All I, right, we got a fuse. I only dropped the boom. Well, I feel like you do have to sing a little bit of like, what, maybe drop it like it's hot or something? No, you think Farrah's Daka. Farrah's Daka. No, I think I like Don't my... Don't boom! I think I like my idea it's of... It's boom. Of it's very French. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> no, I would sing Farrah's Daka, so it could be like, Don't may boom. Dennis says, I love games like this. Sometimes you just want a fun, fast-paced fast -paced game without a lot of complicated setup so you can jump right in. Absolutely. This the is... setup on this takes forever. You have to take the die out. And then you have to roll the die. It's a very long process. It's going to be something that's going to attract a lot of attention to your table because it's very, very cute and simple with the look of the game. And it's a good way to get new gamers into a game just by introducing them to it's stuff. It works with family. Who gets to order playing. what food? Exactly. And it, it, uh, Pizza versus burrito right now. Wow. You're rushing me. You're rushing I want, me. I want this, I want this You're just burrito hungry. to happen. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Have some of that. Have Does it go that. back to the middle? Have some of that. Have some of that. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I want to play this in a really, really big group of people, guys. I think in a really big group of people, it happens where some people start going, well, you blew me up last turn, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the bomb. And, oh, oh, what happened? What happened there? Nothing. Does this mean we're getting pizza tonight, Dr. Yep. Boyhog? Does we're this getting mean pizza. we're getting pizza? We're getting pizza? Oh, I love pizza. Oh! <laughs> All right, all this right. is absolutely right exactly perfect for families right now where the kids are at home it's super adorable it's something you can take out with you someplace and if you're bored you can play it with people and everything i usually end up taking games like this to dinner with me if we're ever eating out and i want to play something simple i can go ahead and put this here on the table and it's perfect you know I guess you playing it like in a convention line or something. Oh, absolutely. In a little convention area, everybody sits down waiting for something and stuff. And look at, look at the little wick on this and everything. It looks fantastic, it's right? It's not John's wick, right? <laughs> no, it's not John's wick, but it is a wick. Like, and it's in there. I, first thing I looked at, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so neat how they did that. It looks like an actual little bomb and they paid a ton of attention to detail with that, you know? And like it's coated in actual explosives. It's really secure in here. I, and I like, too, that you're not, like, trying to snap it open, you yeah, know? Yeah, right, because the snaps always break. Right. Eventually, if you do enough of those, like, snapping open things, they end up breaking. This one here is just a twist, and then it opens up, like, so fast because it is threaded, like, just a tiny bit here. So you don't have to worry about it opening up, you it's know? such a twist. It's a twist. <laughs> Le boom. I really like this game. I'm down with this. I think I'm going to give this to, like, my mom. It's, like... Six six ninety five on Warehouse Twenty Three. Yeah. Six six seven bucks. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Other than that, let's see here. What else are we gonna be doing? Let me let me switch to our front cam here. So we're gonna be playing next week. The green things, awful green things from outer space. We're gonna be doing a box opening on Mondays. We're going to be doing a playthrough of Deadly Doodles, a play along actually, on Thursday which is going to be really awesome. Real portability. Yes, I know, right? There's a, there's a whole box of games that I have, Dennis, that just are super portable games that I take specifically to those restaurants, to those family, 
places where they're cute, they're fun, they're exciting for everybody. Is it actually sitting up there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it just, it's an enjoyable experience for everybody. But we're going to be doing Deadly Doodles on Thursday. And then on Friday, we are going to be playing Awful Green Things from Outer Space. That is the pocket box version. So Steve Jackson has done a big old box of classic games that they have. And they're all a bunch of pocket box games yeah, in there. Yeah, those nice little hard cases. That's right. So I'm excited to go through all of those. I'm going to show off every single one. I'm going to try to do one a week for you guys. So you can see all of the details of what's in all of the pocket boxes as well as get to play, you know, get to see us play those games and check them out, you know? Maybe if you haven't heard of them before, because some of them in there are older that I have not played, and I'm like, I don't remember this game, but it sounds awesome. Like, that'll be really exciting, so. Definitely. The blast from the past. No? No bomb jokes. <laughs> no bomb jokes? <laughs> the joke was explosive. It was explosive. <laughs> I want to get some of the pocket box games, says Dennis. Absolutely. The pocket box games reminds me of the way that board games used to come packaged in with just like little papers and stuff. And you'd like have all your little tiny tokens and stuff that were just like really thin cardboard pieces. Or maybe even you like cut them out and everything. I have a few games like that that I got a really long time ago. But with the pocket boxes, they have like nicer cardboard tokens in them and stuff. And the art is fantastic on them. I like that it's got the little, the little plastic case. Yes, and the plastic case is huge because those plastic cases are so stackable and stuff as you can put them up there and they just, they look good. It's like a little, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like VHS tapes. Like you can line them all up and then you like take them out. I don't know. <laughs> so that's our lineup for next week. This is a really short video, but we appreciate you guys hanging out with us and saying hi. So other than that, I think that's about it. Anything else? Hashtag burrito should have won. Hashtag play Steve, Steve, play Steve Jackson games. Man, I almost did it so cool and then I ruined it. Hashtag play Steve Jackson games. <laughs> we will see you guys all next week. Bye.